Hi again, it's Tim, your Living Sky Guy from the Paris of the Prairies, beautiful Saskatoon. And tonight I'm seeing red, but for all the right reasons. In my last Astronomy Time video, I talked about getting to learn the night sky with a couple of good books. The one drawback with books, though, is that they're really hard to read under a night sky. Because of this, you will need to provide the light to read by, but not just any old light think red. Why red? It all has to do with adapting your eyes to see better in the dark. Our eyes use two types of cells to see light, rods and cones. The cones perceive fine detail and color but need a lot of light to work. The rods see only in black and white and are in poorer resolution but are very sensitive and very low lighting. A white light barely seen by rods would have to be a thousand times brighter for cones to see it. So when we first find ourselves under that dark star-filled sky, we initially see more stars than we would in town, but slowly over the course of 30 minutes or so, we'll see even more numerous and fainter stars to the point where, if we're far enough away from city lights, the Milky Way will look like a river of stars running across the sky. Unfortunately, if you suddenly turn on a white flashlight to read that astronomy book or a star chart or check a camera setting or even try to find the car keys that just fell out of your pocket into the tall grass under your feet, you will have just blinded your rods, reactivated your cones and lost your night vision for the next 30 minutes. However, since the rods are only seeing in black and white, the use of a red flashlight does not affect them as long as you're not shining them directly in your eyes and your night vision remains intact. This is why the first astronomy accessory you want to invest in is a red flashlight. They come in all shapes and sizes from small pen lights, clip lights for your hat brim and even head mounted aimable lanterns. And if you already have a perfectly good flashlight it can be easily adapted for night use. Just buy a roll of red electrical tape from your neighborhood hardware store and use it to cover the lens of the flashlight. Take care though if you're enjoying the night sky with friends and make sure to aim your red light down, especially with today's bright LED flashlights or headlamps. You don't want to be that person who's protecting their own night vision and temporarily blinding your partner by shining the light into their eyes. A red flashlight is an invaluable addition to your astronomy kit that will let you maximize your enjoyment of the night sky and help you to make every minute under the stars count. If you want to continue on this voyage of discovery with me, please click on the subscribe button. And you can also follow my personal exploits on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Just search for Living Sky Guy. Clear skies, everyone. <laughs>